Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com. I just wanted to make a quick video for you all showing you guys how to create your own fixture files for DMXs and or DPro. So these are both software packages from Entech. And one of the things that I really love about these pieces of software is that they enable you, they allow you to create your own fixture files um, for the program. So if the fixture you have, you bought is not in the program, you don't have to email somebody and wait, you can just create your own. And so I wanna show you how to do that here. You're gonna register for the site. Um, you're gonna go to fixtures.dmx's.com. I'll put that on the screen and link to it below as well. And then you're gonna log in once you create an account. And this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So you're gonna see this big list of fixtures. There's literally 5,000 in here and you're able to go ahead search that's going to be the first thing you're going to want to do for the fixture that you're looking for and if you don't find it then it's time to create your own fixture all right so over here in my fixtures you can see i've created a few fixtures here myself you you can select new choose the manufacturer you can either type or go via the drop down menu You can give the fixture a name. So I'm going to call this test LED one. And then you can put in a description. I'm really, all you need to put there is just, um, you know, if you have any notes about the specific fixture you're creating it for, or if it's tested or if it's not tested, etc. cetera. Um, you could just write something there. You don't have to write anything there if you don't want to. And then we hop down to the fixture modes. Okay. So, a lot of fixtures have different modes. Some only have one channel mode, um, but if they have multiple modes, or even if they just have one, you just gotta create that new mode. You enter a name, and then we can click on that mode to access the channels. Now this is where it gets fun, all right? So we get to lay out the channels just the way they're laid out in our fixture. So we can go new, you can do blank channels. I'll come back to that in a minute. Dimmer, pan tilt eight or 16 bit, or RGB channels, okay? So when you're creating in here, um, especially um, for DMXs and DPro, you're gonna wanna make sure that for RGB, pan tilt, and dimmer, you use these pre-created channel types, okay? For everything else that's not red, green, blue, that's not dimmer, that's not pan tilt, use a blank channel, let me show you. You enter that in, and then you're able to say over here, you give it a name and a short name, what you want it to default to, what the highlight value should be, that's for DPro. And then here we've got category and subcategory and you're able to go in and select, okay, you know, what part of the light does this work with? Maybe it's a color wheel. So we go to color and then we can choose from subcategory. We can say, okay, this is, this is a magenta color wheel and we're good to go. All right. Now you just simply do that. You generate all the channels. So I'm just going to add an RGB channel set in here. You could duplicate channels, you can move them up and down. I like to create all the channels that my fixture has first, and then go to the bottom here to channel ranges, okay? So here we've defined, hey, channel one is this, two, three, four, and by default, it's just gonna create a channel where zero is zero, 255 is the max, there's no labels, and it's a variable control. Now, that may be fine for what you're doing. However, if you have the ability, like on a gobo channel or a color wheel, to say, okay, you know, zero through 15 is color one, you know, 15 to 30 is color two, and on and on. You can go in here, say I'll go zero to 15, I'll show you here. We'll call it color one. Make it variable. And then I'm just gonna add another channel range. And I can see here that the fixture creator automatically just went in, it said, okay, I'm gonna copy that range that you used before. Of course you can edit it and do 16 through 31. Then I can label it, etc. So you do that for all of your different channels, okay, as, as needed. You know, some of these like the RGB, you probably don't need to mess with those because that's already set up for what your fixture is and you're gonna find this set up in your fixtures manual. And when you're done, there's two things I want you to do. All right, two important things. One is to click the share with other users box. Um, do that once you've tested it and once you know it works. You can export for DMXs if you're using it in DMXs or just hit done 
and it's going to save that unit and it's going to let you know hey thanks you shared it with other users now everyone is able to use it here on the fixture creator so hey guys i hope that really helps you if you were trying to create your own fixtures with dpro or dmx's do it yourself um then this guide should be able to help you and i'll see you guys around both on youtube and learnstagelighting.com thanks